First of all, email delivery. Uh, this is just a screenshot of my inbox. This was taken uh, some weeks ago now. Um, and it was a typical spam emails. Everyone gets the same things. And, and you know, all of these are in, in my junk box. I'm not going to look at any of them. You know, this one here, UK Manufacturing and Supply Chain Expo, maybe that's a good thing, but it's, it's not actually got into my inbox. So it's in the junk mail in amongst lots and lots of other emails that are, are generally rubbish. And I'm not going to look, I'm just going to delete them. So we've got to avoid the emails going into somebody's junk folder. One of the reasons so many of these do go into junk is the way they're sent. So this is one of those emails. And the biggest problem is this, um, this person, Jacob uh, Chewiner, I know I've used him as an example on a previous webinar I've done, so apologies if you've seen this one already. So his email address is me at jacobchewiner.net, but he sent it through an email software called mlsend.com, whatever that is. So the email hasn't come from him. It's come from this email address, Outlook and every other email software program, straight away looks at that and says, well, there's something dodgy about this. It's probably spam. It's not come from the person. It's come from somewhere else pretending to be the person. Then within the actual email itself, there's all these long links here, which are tracking links and if I were to click on one of those, it would tell this person, assuming it's a real person, that I've opened the email, read the email, clicked on the link. But your email software looks at those links and straight away says, well, it's, it's probably a marketing email. It's probably a spam email. We'll move it over to junk mail. And then you know, if you want to read it, you can go and get it there. So we need to avoid this. We need to avoid emails ending up in junk. Uh, your domain has an effect on how successful email is as well, on, in, in terms of getting into the inbox. Older domains are better. So if you've had your, your email domain for five years, 10 years, that's fantastic. Also, trustworthy domain suffixes, so the .com, .co .uk are far better than some of the modern ones like .website and .marketing, that, that type of thing. There's also three domain records which often aren't set up, but if you're sending lots of emails are very important. They're called the SPF, DKIM and DMARC. These three records are designed to prove to the person receiving an email that you're not sending out a, a phishing email, a spam email, that, that you are the person that's sending the email is a real person. It's coming from a real email address. It's not something dodgy. Um, SPF uh, is sender policy framework. Uh, DKIM is domain keys identified mail and DMARC is domain message authentication record. I can't remember what the C stands for, but they're all three records are designed to verify that the email is, is a proper email. There's a good little tool if you want to check on your own one that we, um, we use. It's called mxtoolbox.com. If you just go to mxtoolbox.com, and what you can do is you can put in, I'll just do it on ask to show you what it looks like. You can put in uh, your domain name. They've got in this little drop down here, there's SPF, DKIM, DMARC. So if I click on that one and then click on the button and it checks it's been set up correctly. So in, in this case, it's come up green. So it's all set up correctly and it's, all, all this is doing here is saying that we're sending from these two email servers. And if at the other end, the inbox receives an email from one of those two, then it's all okay. Now, it's a very quick way of just checking. And you can do the same with the other two with DKIM and, and DMARC on there as well. If these things haven't been set up, then it's relatively straightforward to do. This bit of software does actually tell you what the settings should be and you need to log into your domain, into the DNS settings on your domain, and then you can change them in there. So email content is, is the next part of getting into an inbox. No spam in the subject line is absolutely key. Uh, you mustn't use words like money, free, exclamation marks, capitals, uh, not any of those things in the subject line will straight away or very, very likely land you in, in the junk folder. 
also need to avoid spam words and phrases in content. So again, the same sorts of words like free and special offer, you have to use them very, very carefully and not repeat them. We take the rule of the absolute minimum number of links. So in an email, we don't really want more than one link because every extra link you put into an email increases the likelihood it will be marked as spam. Images are a problem as well, and I'll show you why in a moment, but we tend to try and avoid images wherever possible in the email. And also, is it a simple one, but, but just keeping the font size normal. Um, some people have this habit of putting very large fonts in emails thinking that it'll get noticed. It doesn't, it just gets marked as spam instead. Um, I mentioned MX Toolbox is a good way to check your domains okay. There's another bit of online software we use, which is called Mail Genius, which actually checks that the email you're sending is going to get delivered and avoid spam. Uh, it's, here we are, all you have to do, so it's mailgenius.com, all you have to do is when you've written an email you're going to use, send it to this address here, so you click on here to copy this email address, send your email to that address, when you've done it, click on the see your score button, it takes about 20 or 30 seconds, and then you'll get a report on this page, which will tell you all about the email that's sent. It will give you a score out of 100 in terms of the likelihood it will be delivered to an inbox. It will show you if there's any problems in your email. So it'll actually show you things like um, too many spam words in the content, in the subject line. It will tell you whether all those DNS records are set up correctly. Uh, and when we're using this for our customers, we're looking to get at least 99 out of 100. 90 is not good enough. You know, you need to be 99 or 100 to get um, a reliable delivery every single time, which is not that hard if everything is done correctly, if the email's written you know, in a natural person-to-person -person way and all the, um, all the domain settings and so on are, are set up. 